So right now we'll start out with introductions. So to your, to your farthest left, we have our trainer Paul working with Cheetah. Cheetah is a two and a half year old male with that fur seal. He weighs about 70 pounds, but when he's fully grown, he'll weigh up to 500 or 700 pounds. So he will almost quadruple in size. Then to Paul's right, we have our trainer Mario working with Ursula. She is 17 years old and she is our dark, adult female northern fur seal. So to, to their right now, we have Belinda working with Ursula's two and a half year old daughter, Katovi. Katovi was actually born right here in the New England Aquarium. So like I said, these guys are pretty rare and unique. And that's because there's only eight northern fur seals and zoos and aquarium throughout the country. And we actually have four of those eight right here. Three that you guys are getting to meet, and then we have a 12-year-old adult male in the back who will probably join us out on exhibit later. So some things that make these guys pretty unique is that they are known as ear seals. And this simply means that they have those external ear flaps on either side of their heads. This also means that they're able to rotate their hind flippers underneath of them, which allows them to gallop or move around land, which allows them to haul out or climb over big rocks. If you got a chance to see the Atlantic Harbor Seals out front, you'll notice that these guys are non-eared seals, so that means they do not have those external ear flaps, and they are unable to rotate their hind flippers underneath of them and walk on land. So in order to get around, they kind of have to slug around on their bellies, which makes moving around on land much more difficult for them. So that behavior that Chi was just doing where it looks like he was kind of rubbing his face, that's known as grooming. And that's a natural behavior that they do from the, in the wild. And that's very important for the northern fur seal. And as you may guess, the fur seal has a lot of fur. So they use this grooming behavior to take care of their fur and keep it really clean. To get an idea of just how thick a northern fur seal's fur is, if you hold up an OK sign, this is about one square inch. In about one square inch on their body, they have 300,000 hairs. And that's three times the amount of hair on our head in just that one square inch. So by grooming, what he's actually doing is he's creating layers of air in between his fur. And this allows the water actually never to touch his skin. So this is how they stay warm in the cold water. Now, like I mentioned earlier, we have another species of animal that lives here, and that is the California sea lion. They are very similar to the northern fur seal in that they're both eared seals and they're able to rotate their hind flippers underneath them. The main difference between the northern fur seal and the California sea lion is how they, is how they stay warm. Like I said, the northern fur seal uses that fur coat, but the California sea lion, like many marine mammals, has a thick layer of fat known as blubber. So Ursula was just showing us, showing us uh, another natural behavior which is known as porpoising. And that's simply jumping in and out of water. This is a very important natural behavior because this is how they would evade predators or catch their food in the wild, which Toby is showing off right now. So now I'll talk to you a little bit about our training here. So training is very important because it allows us to take the best care of our animals possible. These are wild animals, and if we want to be able to take care of them, give them vet exams, check their teeth, check their eyes, they have to allow us to do so. So a lot of our, the work that we do at training is through working on husbandry behaviors. And these are simply behaviors that have to do with health care. So all of our animals will open their mouth, let a dentist or a vet inspect their teeth, their gums. We brush their teeth on a weekly basis. There's that white platform all the way to the right side that you saw Ursula and Katobi getting on earlier, and that is our scale. All of our seals are trained to get on the scale so we can manage their weight and make sure they're staying healthy. 